What's going on, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose. So, in trying to figure out what to do for you guys today, um, I thought I'd do like I don't want to do like summer fragrances. Blah, blah. Everybody's doing that, and you know I've done a couple of them myself. Um, so I wanted to go off the grid and kind of do a different thing. So I've got 10 plus. I don't know if it's 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15, but it's 10 plus fragrances that are very masculine fragrances. In my humble opinion, these are masculine fragrances. Um, some ladies will like them, you know, want to wear them themselves, but for the most part, I think these are masculine fragrances. So if you want to know what are the 10 plus fragrances that I think come off as being very masculine, stick around and I'll see you in a bit. Thanks guys. So guys, like I said, 10 plus masculine fragrances that I think you guys would enjoy. Um, they kind of fall in line with the one that I did, I don't know, two years ago, what fragrances Batman would wear. So, you know, obviously I have a bigger collection now. Um, so this is maybe part two of that, but this is these are fragrances I think come off as being very masculine, very heavy. Um, most of them for sure are all some uh, winter fall fragrances. I wouldn't, except for a couple, I wouldn't wear these in, in the summer or spring because they're so, so heavy. Um, but again, you guys wear what you want when you want to, especially if you're gonna go into air conditioned you know, areas and you don't have to worry about anything else, you know, because you're, you're in an air conditioned area. So let's, let's start with the first one. All right, so the first one I have is this one. Mason Alhambra's Hercules. This is gorgeous. This is, smells like Parfums de Marley Herod, and it is very, oh, hold on. I gotta get my coffee out of the way so I don't spray into it. It is very, very, oh, so tobacco forward. It's so good. It's really good. Very peppery, lots of tobacco, really just a gorgeous scent. Just a really gorgeous scent. This has uh, a really sweet, peppery, pipe tobacco kind of feel. Um, so if you guys want to smell like tobacco, and I mean like tobacco, this is a really good one to get. Again, Mason Alhambra's Hercules. Next. And, and really quick, these are in no particular order. It's not from worst to best. These are just, you know, what I have that uh, I think you might enjoy if if you're at that level, if you're still in the, your freshy level, you're gonna hate most of these. But if you're uh, adventurous, these are really good ones to get. So now let's move on to the next one. All right, so this one, this one when I first got it, it threw me off because it was like nothing I've ever smelled before as far as the fragrance is concerned. It, it blew my mind, it really did. And it is, um, Ardell Zafron's Midnight Oud. Now, this is supposed to be a clone of uh, Interlude Man by, is it Perfumes of the Marley? I think it's Perfumes of the Marley Interlude Man. And it is so strange. This, you definitely have to be at another level to like this one. It's very incense -y. It's got frankincense. It's got incense. It's got pimento, oregano, bergamot, um, amber, labdanum, oud. And it is gorgeous in its own right. It is a very unique design as far as the scent is concerned. Um, and it is pretty polarizing because I can imagine a lot of people not liking it. And then again, like me, I can imagine a lot of people liking it. The problem I have with this fragrance is trying to decide when to wear it. This is definitely, I would say the colder the better uh, for you to wear this because it's it's that kind of a fragrance. But if you wanna smell like church, like, you know, incense in a church, this is perfect for that. Really, really good. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it is, 
a mouage. It's a mouage interlude, not Parfums de Marley interlude. A mouage interlude. And so there are a few other uh, clones of this as well. I have another one here. Uh, this one. This is uh, Paris Corner's Killer Oud. And this smells just like it as well. This is so, so nice. A little uh, more subtle than Midnight Oud. Midnight Oud is just like, I'm here. And this one is like, I'm here, but I just wanna hang out in the background a little bit. But again, you wanna smell frankincense, incense. You wanna get that churchy kind of feel. Either one of these is really good to go with. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this one is Mason Alhambra's Afro Leather. Uh, and if you guys are frag heads, you know what this is cloning. This is cloning Memo Paris's African Leather. And this is really, really good. What you get the most out of this is cumin, leather, patchouli, and vetiver with a little bit of oud in there as well. Um, it's animalic, it's spicy, it's leather, warm, a little sweet, but so, so good. Again, all of these, I'm, I'm gonna stop saying it just so you guys know, all these fall, winter. But this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. That leather comes off like a, a very spicy leather, sweet a little bit at the same time, and it is just gorgeous. I love this one, I really do. I can't wait till it gets a little colder so I can start wearing it. Now, the next one. Now this one I threw in because I think I definitely think it's a it's a fall winter fragrance, but I find myself wearing it whenever the hell I want. And this is Fragrance World's Enigma Un, and this is a clone of Sauvage Elixir. Um, and Sauvage Elixir is very very expensive. I also have a Sod, which is the king of Sauvage Elixir clones. Um, <clears throat> Latafa has made a lot of money with that one. But this comes really, really close. The difference to me is that this is a little bit more smokier and a little bit more spicy, um, but really, really good. It is heavy. It's a heavy scent. So Dior Sauvage itself, you know, you can wear it throughout the year. It's, it's, it's a party fragrance. It's a, it's a bright fragrance. This gets a little deeper, right? So I would say it's, it's a bit versatile, but I would wear it more in colder, you know, weather. So that is Fragrance World's Enigma Un. Really, really good. Highly recommend it. Next. Now this one I threw in, I can imagine some women wearing this, but for the most part to me, this leans very, very masculine. And this is a clone, which I never thought a company would come out with it, but this is a clone of uh, Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. And this is Mark and Victor Extreme. This is really, really good. The The opening is not as smooth as Spice Bomb Extreme, obviously, because you're spending 20, maybe less than $30 on this. And, you know, Spice Bomb Extreme is up there in the 80s to $100. But um, as it starts to dry down, it becomes closer and closer to Spice Bomb Extreme. Really really nice yeah it's it's got to me a lot more like cinnamon in it than spice bomb extreme has um but all in all great great fragrance um if you don't want to use up your spice bomb extreme and you want to have something that smells a lot like it mark and victor extreme is a really good way to go and this is by fragrance world as well next now, another one that's a, a really strange, strange scent, but is so beautiful once you get used to it, is this one. Bentley for Men Absolute. This is pink pepper, ginger, pap papyrus, uh, sandalwood, oud, amber, moss, cedar. Um, it's just really, really gorgeous. Now, this is not a clone of anything that I, I know of. Um, it's just that this smells like you're in a sawmill. It's it's just really a different, different scent. It's it's very woody. Um, and it is it is so, 
damn good. Really, I mean, I, I didn't think I would like it, but hold on, I'm gonna spray it on myself. But yeah, this, this is a masculine, like this is a masculine scent. This thing is, is like wood chips. And I know that doesn't sound appetizing to you guys as far as the scent is concerned, but you get that ginger comes off, the pink pepper, it's a little spicy. And then you get that, that woodiness and it is so, so good. So Bentley for Men Absolute is one that I think you guys should definitely try. Now, the opposite side of that, well, not the opposite because it's still also a very masculine scent is Bentley for Men Intense. This is a polarizing one. I mean, that one definitely is polarizing, but this one is polarizing too. Some people don't get it, you know? Um, this is a boozy kind of fragrance. Um, I don't have the notes, so I'm just gonna like, you know, this is, this is a very, this is a really good scent. Um, it's boozy, it's rich, it's deep and it's inexpensive i mean you could get these for like 40 dollars, i think um still um they're starting to go up but you can still get these for 40 dollars. and this is a great great buy um if you want to have a nice boozy kind of feel uh this is this is a good way to go next now this one is a crazy one um this is supposed to smell like torino no, Taroni by Ordo Parisi, and this is Mahir Black. And this, I'm gonna, this has violet, rosemary, bergamot, olibanum, myrrh, amber, iris, labdanum, vanilla, it has smoke, agarwood, leather, patchouli, cedar, and sandalwood. And this smells like not so much cigarettes but like the the remnants of cigarettes in an ashtray but in a really 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 good way so i don't want you to be off you know like off put it by the fact that i said you know cigarette smell you're not gonna smell like a cigarette like when you go into a bar where they smoke and then you come out and your clothes stink i hate that um this is a a smoky smoky scent um it's got it, it comes off as incense floral vanilla slightly green i got my notes um sweet and a light smokiness too um so this is a beautiful one but again if you're not at the level where you've gotten past the freshies you probably won't like any of these i i know my brother probably won't like any of these because he still thinks, you know, the freshies are the way to go and he just doesn't have the nose for these kind of fragrances yet. But I'm, I'm working on him and hopefully he will someday. Let's go on to the next one. Now, the next one was created by the same perfumer that created Bentley for Men Intense and her name is Natalie Lorson. And she created Bentley for Men Intense, she created Bentley for Men, and she also created Ancre Noir La Extreme, a La Extreme. This is another one that's, that's a dark, heavy fragrance, winter, fall as usual. And this is supposed to smell a little bit like Chanel Sycamore. I've never smelled Chanel, Chanel Sycamore, but um, that's, what, that's what I read. It has cypress, resin, bergamot, vetiver, Haitian vetiver, incense, and iris, and then benzoin, sandalwood, and patchouli. So I wrote something down that I read somebody that reviewed it, uh, and they wrote, this perfume is all about being alone in the woods, standing under a tree during the rain. It is dark, yet so beautifully made. And I totally agree with that. Um, its performance to me, it lasts maybe like four to six hours, but that's my skin and nothing lasts long on my skin. A lot of people say that they get a really good performance out of this fragrance. Um, the other ones as well, Hercules lasts forever on my skin. I, I love that one. Midnight Oud lasts a long time. Um, Afro Leather. So I do get like up to six hours on most of them, but there's probably in the 400 that I have, 
maybe three that I would say a beast mode on my skin. And one of them is my favorite, which is uh, Latafa's Badea Oud Amethyst. That thing just lasts forever on my skin, and I love it, and so does everybody else that smells me, because that is a compliment monster. Um, if you want to know about that, I have a review on that one as well. But Ancre Noir is, is so, so nice. It's spicy. It's peppery. Um, it has that flavor of incense in it as well. And if you want to smell manly, this is a good one to wear during the fall and winter as well. Next one. I only have a couple left. Uh, yeah, I've got three left for you guys. Now, this one is Reinhardt Perfume by Fragrance World. And this is really good. It took me a while. I wasn't crazy about it at the beginning, but it has definitely, definitely grown on me. Um, the Atomizer is not bad either. Very misty. This has got suede, licorice, mandarin, uh, violet leaf rum, coriander, cumin, bourbon, and vanilla. Um, it's leathery, it's sweet, it's not very grassy, and it is has does have a vanilla tone to it. But what you get when you first spray it is that licorice, suede kind of feel, then it becomes a little boozy. Um, and the cumin comes in as well. Now, cumin is a weird note to me because on some fragrances that have cumin, I get this B.O. scent that I can't stand. Uh, Rasasi's Derej was like that to me at the beginning. That cumin, when when you I would spray Rasasi's Derej, I would get just like a, a whiff of B.O. that I couldn't stand. So I put it on the shelf. I've let it sit there for like a year. Um, and now that bottle is half empty uh, because I spray it uh, because it does smell nice. So that cumin kind of settled down and doesn't smell like BO anymore, but there are times that it will. This, you don't get that. Um, I don't feel that you get that petrol feel uh, as well. Um, right, uh, Fahrenheit was always known for the petrol in it, gasoline kind of smell. This, I don't get a gasoline smell at all. This is really, really nice. And for 32 to $40, this is a good goodbye if you like heavy fragrances because it's a little bit on the heavy side. But yeah, I think you guys will like that one. Two more to go. Now this one is, actually three more to go. This one is one of my favorite that I wear all the time and this is a tuxedo clone and this is Suits by Fragrance World. Um, Suits is a clone of tuxedo, like I said, violet leaf, coriander, bergamot, rose, black pepper, Lily of the Valley, Patchouli, Amber, Bourbon, and Vanilla. Um, the performance is really, really good on this thing. And it's a classy, classy scent. This is, this is a suit and tie kind of scent. Um, and it just smells so good. It is fairly close to Tuxedo. Obviously not in the same realm as Tuxedo because YSL does you know, spend more money on their, their ingredients and it's it's a it's a just a better fragrance. But if you can't afford that one and you want something that gets you close, Suits is really, really good. The other one is Mason Alhambra's The Tux, which is supposed to be really good as well. Um, but that one is, is always sold out, um, still to this day. It's sold out pretty much. Um, and I gotta get it, but for now I have Suits which I absolutely love. This fragrance is so good. You wanna go even cheaper than that? If you go to the rack stores like Burlington, uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, mostly TJ Maxx and Marshalls, if you see a fragrance called Taxco um, in the same kind of bottle design, that's a Suits uh, uh, clone. And that is not bad. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, Suits, fragrance roll. Good, coffee worthy, absolutely. Next. Now this is another tobacco fragrance that, that I really think is, is great. And this is Tobacco Rush by Afnan. Um, this is really tobacco-ish. This has got so much tobacco in it, um, but in a really good way. And it's got a magnetic top, which I really enjoy. It's It's got 
uh, notes of warm, spicy. I don't know what that means. Uh, tobacco, woods, um, fresh, spicy, lavender, amber, cedar, and oud. This is supposed to be a clone of Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco. Um, and some people say Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. This is so good. This, to me, has a heavier tobacco uh, fragrance than Hercules does. Like, this smells like tobacco, um, like a pipe tobacco. Really, really good. Uh, again, definitely for the fall and winter, but... If you want to start getting into tobacco fragrances, I would say start with uh, CK Shock um, and then Hercules and then Tobacco Rush uh, because they are, they're all good. CK Shock is a very mild tobacco fragrance. You can still find that at the rack stores. If you find that you like that, I would say go for Hercules second. And then if you find you like that, get Tobacco Rush by Afnan. And the last of them is one that I did not enjoy when I first sprayed it. Not because of the scent profile, but because I couldn't smell the scent profile. Like you got a whiff of it and then it was gone. Um, and it is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This is hyped so much by reviewers. It, it really is. And so I bought it and then I would spray it on myself. One, I couldn't really spray it or smell anything. And two, whatever I did smell was gone after literally 10 minutes. And I think I did it in the review. I sprayed myself and then I got pissed off in front of the review because I'm like, see, it's gone, it's gone. Um, but I've let it sit for a while and I actually can smell it now. And this is a really, really good scent. I really do enjoy it. This has got bergamot as a top note, incense and jasmine, and then the base is vanilla, benzoin, woods, and umbroxan. And you would think with all of that in there, it would be a beast. I don't find that it's a beast. It, it smells nice. It lasts on your skin, at least on my skin, three hours maybe if I'm lucky. And I spray like a lot. But again, those three hours are really, really enjoyable. I, I, I smell it. I smell the, the bergamot. I smell the incense. It's citrusy, but dark at the same time. Um, and it's a really pleasant, pleasant scent. So Mercedes Club Black, if you guys buy it and you have the same experience, just put it away, let it sit for a while and it should get stronger because it does, it, it did for me. So, you know, I even put out an, another video saying, you know, sorry, I gave it such a bad rap, but it is what it is. I'm here to tell you guys the truth, right? I'm not here to give you guys like, you know, hype something that, that I think sucks. There's a lot of fragrances that I won't even review because I think they suck. So I just have them in a whole totally different place. I've got to give them away to people. I don't know. But anyway, um, so those are the fragrances that I think lean very masculine and you guys might enjoy. Um, and are they all coffee worthy? Absolutely, Jose, coffee worthy. I think, I think they all smell great. You have to have the nose for it. Um, you're still into the freshies. You may not enjoy any of these. But if you wanna move up to the next level, these are really good ways to, to go as far as you know, getting your nose accustomed to some of these. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do me a favor. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it helps with the algorithm so more people can find me. And comment, let me know. Do you have these? Do you agree? Do you have masculine fragrances that uh, you recommend? Because I really would like to know. Because I love the masculine fragrances. I, I love the winter heavy fragrances. Um, the problem I have with a lot of the summer or spring fragrances is their their main point, you know, their main uh, accord is citrus, right? A lot of them is just citrus at the top. Bergamot, lime, lemon, citrus. And those things don't tend to last that long on your skin, so they die out fairly quickly. So a lot of times with the summer fragrances, you will get like four hours out of them, four to six hours out of them, and then they're gone. Um, or they become really close skin scents. These, most of these, they will stay on your skin for quite a long time. So you, that's what I really enjoy about them because I, I get whiffs of them all the time. So guys, again, like, subscribe, comment, and you guys know what to do. As always, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.